second question is in the reaction A plus B in equilibrium with C plus D, 40% of B is reacted when one mole of each of A and B are heated in a 10 liter closed vessel. The value of Kc is. In this question, we are supposed to find the equilibrium constant Kc, that is equilibrium constant in terms of concentration. So we should find the concentrations of a reactant and products and equilibrium and then we should calculate it. So let's start the solution. The reaction is A plus B in equilibrium with C plus D. Let us take the initial moles they have given. Initial moles they have given. They have given us one mole of A and one mole of B. So C and D are the products. They are not still formed. At equilibrium amount that has reacted. They have mentioned that 40% of B has reacted. That is out of one mole if you consider 40% that is 0.4 mole of B reacts. If you look at the equation one mole of A always reacts with one mole of B. So if 0.4 mole of B reacts the amount reacted in terms of A will be 0.4 only. Then the amount formed at equilibrium that is the product formed. If you look at the reaction 1 A, 1 mole of A will give you 1 mole of C and 1 mole of D. That is if 0.4 mole of A reacts, you get 0.4 mole of C and 0.4 mole of D. Now, then the number of moles at equilibrium, we will see at equilibrium the number of moles present. Out of 1 mole, if 0.4 reacts, then the remaining is 0.6, the remaining B is 0.6. So, C and D will be 0.4 mole and 0.4 mole. We should calculate the equilibrium constant. Equilibrium constant Kc for this equation is given by Kc is equal to concentration of C into concentration of D divided by concentration of A into concentration of B because equilibrium constant is the ratio of product of concentration of the products to the products of concentration of the reactant raised to the powers as per the balanced chemical equation. That is the stoichiometries as per the balanced chemical equation they appear as power. If you look at this equation the stoichiometry with respect to reactant and product is 1. So hence we have not raised it anything. Now we need to find the concentration. So, th so this, this indicates the number of moles that are present at equilibrium. They have mentioned that the closed vessel is 1 liter. Hence the concentration of a at equilibrium will be the number of moles of A at equilibrium divided by the volume of the vessel that is it will be equal to 0.6 divided by 10 because concentration is given by the formula number of moles divided by the volume so volume in liters so they have mentioned it to be as 10 liter hence concentration of A will be 0.6 divided by 10 similarly concentration of B also will be equal to 0.6 divided by 10. Similarly, concentration of C, concentration of C will be equal to 0.4 by 10 and concentration of D also will be equal to 0.4 by 10. So, if I substitute that, I will get concentration of C that is 0.4 divided by 10 into 0.4 divided by 10 divided by 0.6 divided by 10 into 0.6 divided by 10. So, you end up in getting 0.4 into 0.4 divided by 0 0.6 into 0 0.6. If you calculate it, you will get the answer 0 0.44. Hence, option A is the right answer. Friends, let's move on with the next question. In the following reaction, D plus C in equilibrium with M plus N, the initial concentration of D and C are 1 mole per liter at equilibrium. The concentration of M is 0.9 mole per liter. The equilibrium constant for the reaction is. Your options are option A 70, option B 80, option C 81, option D 50. 
This is also a simple question related to what we have solved earlier. If you look at the reaction, reaction is D plus C giving M plus N. Here we need to find the equilibrium constant for the reaction. That is the ratio of concentration of products to the concentration of the reactants raised to the powers as per the balanced chemical equations. Let us start the solution of this. Now, the reaction is D plus C in equilibrium with M plus N. Let us consider the initial concentration of reactants they have given. They have mentioned the initial concentration of D as 1 mole per liter whereas C as also 1 mole per liter. And they have given you the amount that has formed. So we will just check the amount reacted as well as formed at equilibrium. They have mentioned that 0.9 mole per liter of M is formed. That is the concentration of M uh, formed is 0 0.9. 0.9 is formed. So what we need to do is we need to calculate the concentration of the reactants and products at equilibrium and then we need to substitute them. Now if you look at the equation if a 0.9 mole of M is formed indicates that 0.9 mole of D and 0.9 mole of C should react because if you look at the balanced chemical equation when 1 mole of D and 1 mole of C reacts you get 1 mole of M and 1 mole of N. If 0.9 mole has formed indicates that the amount of D reacted is 0.9 amount of C reacted also should be 0.9 because 1 reacts with 1 to give you 1. If you look at the equation if 1 mole of M is formed then 1 mole of N will be formed. If a 0.9 mole of M is formed the number of moles of N formed will also be 0.9 mole per liter. Now, at equilibrium, let us see the concentrations remaining at equilibrium. Since it is given it as more per liter, directly we can take it as now. D we had started with 1 mole, 0.9 mole reacted. So at equilibrium, the concentration of D remaining is 0.1 mole per liter. If you look at C, 0.9 mole per liter has reacted. We started with 1 mole per liter. So the amount of C remaining also will be 0.1. So, M and N will be formed at a concentration of 0.9 mole per liter and 9 mole per liter. We need to calculate the equilibrium constant Kc. Equilibrium constant Kc is equal to concentration of M into concentration of N divided by concentration of D into concentration of C. The concentration of M at equilibrium is 0.9, concentration of N at equilibrium is 0.9. Concentration of D and C at equilibrium is 0.1 and 0.1. So hence if you calculate it you get I will just give the points 9 into 9 divided by 1 into 1 that will be equal to 81. Hence option C is the right answer. Let us discuss some characteristics of equilibrium constant and then we will discuss some problems related to that. Consider a reaction A plus B in equilibrium with C plus D. Let the equilibrium constant for this reaction I will represent it as K1. Let K1 be the equilibrium constant for the reaction A plus B in equilibrium with C plus D. If we reverse the reaction that is C plus D in equilibrium with A plus B. For the reverse reaction, the new equilibrium constant, I will write it as K2. So, K2 will be equal to 1 by K1. So, for a reverse reaction, so the equilibrium constant will be reciprocal for a reaction that I had taken earlier. That is, K2 will be equal to 1 by K1. If I multiply this reaction by 2, let us consider the reaction multiplied by 2. It becomes 2A plus 2B in equilibrium with 2C plus 2D. So, let the new equilibrium constant I will represent it by K3. So, K3 will be equal to K1 raised to 2. 
So if you multiply it by 2, so the same stoichiometry appears as power. I will, I will divide the reaction by 2. So if it is 1 by 2 A plus 1 by 2 B, let us divide the reaction by 2. If it is 1 by 2 A plus 1 by 2 B in equilibrium with 1 by 2 C plus 1 by 2 D. Let the new equilibrium be K4. The new equilibrium constant K4 will be equal to K1 raised to 1 by 2. That is nothing but root of K1. That is, if you reverse the reaction, the new equilibrium constant will be reciprocal. If you multiply a reaction by with some coefficient or some number, that will appear as power. If you divide it by some number, that also appears as power. Consider a reaction A in equilibrium with D. Let the equilibrium constant for this reaction be K4 or K5, we will take it as K5. Now, let us assume that the reaction occurs in two or more steps. Let, let the steps be, first A gives B, then B formed, it gives C, then C formed, it gives D. So, if you add all the reaction, you will get the total or the overall reaction. These are the stepwise reaction and let the stepwise equilibrium constant for this be Kc, K7, K6, K7 and K8. Then this, this reaction can be obtained by adding all the reactions. See, B is formed, it reacts back to give the product. C formed reacts back to give the product. The overall reaction will be A in equilibrium with D. So, if the reaction occurs in two or more steps, then the equilibrium constant for an overall reaction that is K5 will be product of equilibrium constant for stepwise reaction that is equilibrium constant K5 will be equal to K6 into K7 into K8. So guys, we will sum up everything. So if, if you have reversed the reaction, the new equilibrium constant will be reciprocal of the equilibrium constant for the first reaction. If you multiply it by 2, then the coefficient appears as power. If, you if the reaction occurs in two or more steps, then the overall equilibrium constant will be product of equilibrium constant for each steps. Dear friends, you DVG YouTube channel subscribe to our friends. You can see videos free.